Just add some perturbations, just add some variability, and it should work well. Everyone who trained a model has war stories. We asked top researchers to share theirs. Hi, my name is Aniket Vashisht. I'm currently a master's student at UIUC. Before this, I was working at Microsoft Research India as a pre-doctoral researcher. My interests are in language models, causal reasoning, and how we can actually train models to be better at causal reasoning for real-world applications such as in healthcare. And I'd love to hear a bit more about your research. Now that LLMs have been trained on the real-world data, they have some sort of like a world knowledge that you can potentially utilize or leverage to uncover these cause and effect relationships, right? Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm trying to understand as to how can we actually utilize LLM's causal reasoning capabilities to solve such problems. And the second part of my research is more focused on how can we actually train models to be better at causal reasoning, right? Or train models to be better at logical reasoning. And could you share a moment for model training that didn't go as planned? We wanted to basically train a model um, on linear sequences up to let's say three from three to six nodes and see whether it's able to generalize let's say 15 nodes or 50 nodes, right? Mm -hmm. And saw that the model was not actually able to generalize first. The performance was really bad. It was almost equal, equal to random baseline. What were the first signs of anomaly that told you something was off? I was trying to evaluate it on uh, the on keeping the ex everything exactly the same, but just increase the length or increase the branching. Mm -hmm. And the performance went like 40% down uh, as compared to the performance that we had for the training set, right? Mm -hmm. And I realized that I want to teach the model on fundamentally applying the axioms. Mm -hmm. I'm expecting the model to repeatedly apply the axioms when the problem scale uh, problem is scaled up, right? Mm -hmm. But it's not able to do that. So that was the, I think, first sign of the anomaly. Is there any specific tooling that helped you surface the issue? My goal was to make the model perform on structures that it had never seen during its training. Mm -hmm. I realized from pa reading past papers that I need to incorporate more diversity, mm -hmm. some sort of noise or some sort of variability in the training set, so that when it, when the model encounters this in the uh, test time, mm -hmm. it's actually it has already it's already accustomed to variability and it's able to generalize over that. How much compute or work clock time do you think it burned until uh, you caught the issue? Yeah, that's a really good question. <laughs> I think I didn't use a lot of compute. I Honestly, I ran a lot of my experiments only to 800 GPUs. Mm -hmm. Took me weeks, mm -hmm. I would say. What did the final fix look like? The solution was extremely simple. It's just to incorporate diversity in the most simplest way imaginable. Mm -hmm. Just add some perturbations, just add some variability, and it should work well. Is there a particular metric that you're now especially keeping an eye on? So causality in real world can be very useful, mm -hmm. but just understanding how yeah, how in helping models to apply these kind of rules can be used in real world is something that I'm mm -hmm. actually more interested in, whatever the metric could be. Okay. But it's more about the end application, I guess. Perfect.